my my hair always looks crazy. I'm so fucking over this shit. That's alright, because I'm getting my fucking hair done this week coming up, so it doesn't even fucking matter. Do you guys like my shirt? It is so cute. What the fuck? I want to do like a green look today because I'm tired of doing like that boring and basic shit. And I want to be like a glam as fuck like my shirt. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is... I don't even know. You know what? I gotta remember that I have this fucking microphone right here. So, um, really quick, I'm just going to go in with some of the Dickinson's, um, toner and I did wash my face this morning and I did put moisturizer on, but a couple hours have gone by and I feel like maybe I sweated or something, but I just really just want a reason to use this product. I really love this product so much. It's really, really good product. I love it. Of course, you guys know, I love rose water so much and it has a rose water in it. It's like a rose water hydrating toner just helps get like the impurities and just bs all right so i'm gonna jump in with the secret sauce by it cosmetics i know that it's repetitive but unfortunately i don't have nothing else that actually works for my skin and that actually actually moisturizes my skin so that is why i'm gonna be going in with this product because it actually works for me the next product I'm going to be going in with is the Clinique. And this is the All About Eyes Eye Cream, you guys. I am super, super, like, on point when it comes to, like, my skincare and my under eyes and my skincare routine. Um, because as you guys can see, I do have dark under eyes. And it is, I mean, hereditary for me. I've always had, like, under eyes like that. Not that it's been an issue for me because, honestly, I'm already to the point where it's, like, it is what it is. I don't even care. Like, it doesn't bother me. Some days it's like really crazy <laughs> and some days it's like, okay, I mean like this, like it's not that serious, okay? Anyway, okay, so now we're gonna jump in. All right, so today's video, I don't really have like a look in mind or anything, um, but today I wanna do green, like just the color green. Um, so I'm really, really excited. I do have my cosmetic eyeshadows. These are from my cosmetic line. These are what some of them look like. And I have a warm tone palette, which is like my dream palette. I am super obsessed with this eyeshadow palette. It literally has every single color you could possibly want, need, and think of. Of course, you guys have already seen me prime my eyelids with the P. Louise base like a gajillion times. So we're just going to skip right through that and jump right into the tutorial parts. Um, I went ahead, I primed my eyes off camera because you guys have already seen me do that a million times. And I mean, let's be serious. It's repetitive and no one cares. So this is what I use to prime my eyelids. This is the P. Louise base. This is like the world's famous base. Um, starting off, I'm going to be using the Morphe M506 brush. And I love this brush to just pack color on where I need it. I don't use this brush to blend out. I just use it to pack on because it's more precise and it's not going to put the color like anywhere it doesn't need to be pretty much. The first color that I'm going to be using today is going to be this color right right here and this is going to be the first color that I'm going to be using and all I'm doing is just creating the shape that I want first and then I'm going to blend it out so like when I look straight ahead as you can see you can barely like not that you can't see but you can barely see the color so I want it so that it's like 50% on the actual like crease and then 50% above it so that I can blend and I'm not blending too too far up and then it's like a hot fucking mess. Alright so I'm just going to pull this up a little bit and I'm literally just going to tap the edges. And the reason why I'm doing this is so that I can get a little bit of color upwards and not have like too much color where it's hard to blend out. So I'm literally just going to pat the edges out. And you see how it's just like slowly blending it out and it's not looking like crazy already. So literally this part is like the part that takes me the longest because like I feel like I really have to take my time with it because it's really crucial on like how your makeup is going to come out. We are going to go in with a different shade and we're going to go in with this shade right here. So I'm going to be using this shade right here. I'm going to lightly like very, 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 I'm going to do this part and I'm literally just, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my warm eyeshadows 
and I'm trying to debate on what color to use because to be honest with you, I'm not sure. You know what I'm going to do? Actually, I lied. I'm going to take this color right here. And this is, and I'm, I'm going to take this like camel color, like this yellow camel type of color. And I'm literally just going to use this for my edges. And I'm literally just going between both colors, just like a violet. Now what I want to do is I want to deepen up like the outer portion of my eye. So pretty much like this area right here. So instead of going in with the color black, I'm actually going to go in with this color right here. And it is a dark green, like a dark black green. And I'm literally just going to just pack this right here, like right in the outer portion of the eye. So right here. And I'm just going to pack and just like dab where I want to add to that definition at. Alrighty, so on to the fun part, the green color. So I have a couple green colors. Um, I think I'm gonna go in with this color right here and it is a green shimmer shade and this is what it looks like. It's so pretty. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this LA Girl Jumbo Pencil Eyeliner and this is what it looks like right here. So this is in the color Beach Resort. So pretty much what it is, is literally just like a green color. So it's like a green color and what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to put this on and then blend it out with my finger. And this is very creamy so this is really going to really help with making any eye color that you put on your lid like really intensify it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with that same green color and I'm literally just going to put this on top and I'm just going to press it in. So I'm just going to literally just tap it just like that you see that oh, that looks so good and i'm not gonna put it like on all over i'm just gonna put it on like the outer portion area and the reason for that is because i really love that color green pencil so i want to keep that color as much as i can then i'm gonna take that little pencil brush that i was using and literally just oh, this looks so fucking good already okay so then now what i want to do is i want to go in with a lighter green shade just to give it some definition so that it's just not one color on the eyelid so i'm gonna go in with the same little packer brushes i always use i love these they're from jessup and i'm gonna use this light green color right here and i'm literally just going to just pack it on like dab first so that we can set that eyeshadow base because because it is a very creamy base and then I'm just gonna start like slowly just dragging it and this is really gonna make a big difference like look already it's making such a huge difference such a good color I love it this is pretty much the look on the eyes so what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna go in with this eye and I'm gonna finish it off camera because you guys already know that's what I've been doing lately or whatever we don't have time to be doing both on camera sis it's way too much so yeah I'm gonna do that real quick and then I will see um, but yeah, so I'm going to be going in with the ABH concealer and this is in the color 4.0. Put it right here. Color correcting is very important to me. I mean, I can't really speak for other makeup artists. I can only speak for myself. So yeah. So for foundation today, I'm going to go in with an Odie but a goodie. This is like an old school foundation that like literally everybody like raved about. I mean, I still see like the OG YouTubers use this foundation. It is so good. I'm sorry. It is so good. It's such a good quality foundation. It's such good coverage. It is so good. And the foundation is the Double Wear by Estee Lauder. This foundation has been a staple in my makeup kit because it is such a good foundation and it is a foundation that you can put on and really make look super light. Um, It's just a really good foundation. I love it so, so much. And I haven't used it in... <sighs> years like it's been at least three years since i've tried this foundation out um and it is called rattan and this is 2w2 and as far as how i apply it today i'm going to be using a brush first and then i'm going to use a beauty blender because i really want to get like full beat coverage today like we are doing it like we are doing it today i haven't put makeup on like this in a long time and i'm just like literally just ready like i'm ready to like be flawless or whatever so that is the now look how flawless 
my skin looks like this is so crazy i am literally obsessed with this foundation i think it is such a beautiful foundation and people sleep on it and no one talks about it like some people do but like i feel like not enough people talk about it so for cream bronzing and contouring i picked up the clinique stay matte oil free foundation i picked up the color clove in 28 and i picked this up because i wanted to use it to bronze with i've seen a couple people use this and say that it is like really matte really full coverage um too matte for me i did try the regular foundation for me a long time ago and it was extremely matte so what i did was i put a little bit on the back of this powder thing and then what i usually do is i will go in with a brush and literally just pat um, and then just kind of pat it in the place and then kind of wiggle it around that that way it's distributed on the brush properly and then I'll just start like applying it and then just blend up a little bit now you guys know I live for bronzing and contouring my forehead or bronzing my forehead however you want to say it because it is contouring bronzing but like just look at that already my head but it's not too bad so now that i've pretty much done that um for concealer today i'm gonna be going in with two new concealers and i'm gonna be using the morphe concealer and this is in the shade c2 6.5 now this concealer is very mattifying i'm gonna be honest and say it is very mattifying but it is a very beautiful concealer so i definitely want to give it another try and not put as much as i put on the last time i'm gonna be using this concealer just to conceal and pretty much just cover what i have going on and then i'm gonna use a different concealer to help brighten up my under eyes and then of course to set my under eyes i am gonna be going in with the nars beach powder and i'm gonna be using this to pretty much just set my under eyes and this is pretty much just like literally my skin color you see like it's literally just my skin color and the reason why i like to do this is because this helps cover up the color corrector so i'm just gonna take the same sponge and i'm literally just going to blend it in Alrighty, so look how like flawless that looks. It looks so good. I have indentation underneath my eyes. Like that's never gonna go away. You see right here. Um, it's just the way that it is. Like you know what I mean. I just have that automatically. Now what I want to do is go in with a brighter concealer, which means a lighter concealer. And I'm gonna be using the Camouflage Liquid Concealer. And this is this is the Liquid Clam Camouflage. This is the uh, Catrice Liquid Clamouflage High Coverage Concealer. Shit, that was a fucking mouthful to say. And then I'm just literally just going to put this right here just a little bit. Okay, just like that. For the face powder, I'm going to be going in with the Milani Conceal and Perfect in the color Natural. I really, really love this product. I think it's such a good product for the buck that you pay for it. It is very affordable, very like flawless, very full coverage. It literally will make you look like you have no imperfections, like bitch wear. You know what I mean? Like it's so, so good. I really, really love it. Dome brush and I'm literally just going to pat and then I'm literally just going to just pat like this. So I'm literally just going to go like this all over my whole entire face, just like that look at that the can but anyway the next product i'm gonna be going in with is the bh cosmetics satin bronzer and this is in the color tropical tan um of course this is going to be a warm terracotta color bronzer you guys know that i live for bronzer so i'm going to be going in with the morphe m403 brush to pretty much bronze my face up now i don't need a lot because again we already used um some cream bronzer so we're just gonna pretty much just re-enhance that bronzer. You know what I'm saying? Yes, bitch. I think I'm like losing weight because the double chin that I had. I mean, I still have it a little bit, but it's not as like prominent. So the next product I'm going to be going in with is the Bare Minerals Invisible Powder. And this is just an invisible highlighting powder. It is supposed to be for like highlighting, but this is like, yeah, no. So this is in the color tan. And it is so good. I love it just for like a nice like all over like glow before like I put anything on my face. It makes your skin look so 
fucking airbrushed. I love it. And this is what it looks like in case you guys were wondering. And yeah. So the next product I'm going to be going in with is a blush. Now you guys know I'm not a blush person. I say it every single time and it's like, okay, sis, we get it. But um, yeah, I'm going to be using this color and this is in the color Golden Fuse. So pretty much it's just a orangey peachy color with golden flecks. I've had this for a very like long time or whatever and it does give you like a glow on your cheeks in case you guys were wondering so I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face so that my face feels a little bit like more fresh and just like hydrated a little bit because it is feeling a little like a little you know what I'm saying so what I want to do is I want to go in with the Scandinavia I think I'm going to be using the Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Crayon. Bitch. Because I might be bugging, but I don't see it on here. Okay. I don't see the fucking color on here. So we're just going to go with it. All right. So you guys already seen me do my brows a couple times. Um, it's literally the same every single time. Um, this is what my brows look like without products, without anything done to them. I'm very, very picky with my brows. I do not play. Um, I like my brows to look very natural, if you will. Mm. Yes, bitch. Love it. Okay, so now that we did that, which is like one of my favorite parts because it's like, I feel like without brows, it's like. Okay, so I'm going to be going in with the Great Lash Mascara, and this is just a clear transparent mascara and I like to just grab it and just pretty much take most of it off because I'm not really like a big fan of my eyebrows looking too wet but I do like them to look like some type of wet that way they look a little bit more like zen up or whatever all right so for lashes today hmm I think I'm gonna be going in with gun smoke today and yes I said it gun smoke so I have, um, this is what they look like right there. If you can see them, it says gun smoke. Bitch. Yes. Um, next I'm going to be going in with some mascara and this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Original Carbon Black Mascara. I'm literally just going to put a little bit on. So I went ahead and popped the lashes on. This is pretty much what they look like. These are called Gunsmoke. They're so beautiful. I love these lashes. They're more on the like fluffier, dramatic side. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the Pixi Lower Lash Mascara. Um, I'm really excited to do that lip part because I have a new product. Okay? Okay. Alrighty. So... For the new product, I went ahead and picked up this MAC collection. And these are pretty much just um, some lip sticks. And yeah, this is what it looks like. So I went ahead and picked two shades out from the collection. I did a little swatch on my lip. So the first shade I picked out was Velvet Teddy. And I really like this color because I think it's so pretty. And I think it's going to be perfect. That way, like I already feel like the eyes are a lot. This is such a pretty color, but I feel like it doesn't go. Like, it looks good, I think, because my makeup looks good. But as far as it, like, like really making my shit pop, no. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the color Little Darling. And it's like this, like, I don't know. It's just a really cute color. Now I just feel like it just looks like a pinky color. Okay, I'm not feeling that. Okay, just like that. And I think I'm going to go in with Mangrove. And I'm just going to see if this looks good. I'm not really sure how I feel about this color. I thought it was going to be a little bit more like, like the packaging, like more orangey. But it's like coming out like red, which I'm not, I'm not happy with at all. I mean, it doesn't look bad. Like, I don't feel like it looks bad. I just feel like it's, like, a lot. Like, the eye makeup look is already a lot. You know what I mean? 
Okay, so for highlighters today, I'm going to be going in with this um, highlighter palette by Kathleen Lights. And this is from Makeup Geek. And I want to go in with these two colors right here. Um, I haven't used this in a long time, but I do know that it works really, really well. And it's like extremely like popping. And I just love it. Like I was actually really impressed with this and I haven't used it in a while. So I'm trying to debate on what color I want to go in first. So I'm going to go in with both of these colors right here. And I'm literally just going to mix them and I'm literally just going to pop it like right like, can we just take a second to appreciate this? And I never hear anybody talk about this product, but I will be the first or first in a long time to rave about it because it's so good. Can we just like, look at that? Like just literally, like just look at it. So this is pretty much the finish um, makeup look and little hair thing that I put together really quick. I'm probably going to take this out and wash my hair out anyway because I feel like it looks a little crazy. But um, yeah, this is pretty much what I came up with. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to join this crazy ass family because you guys already know I'm a crazy as fuck so <laughs> that's a given but yeah so um yeah I'm gonna let you guys go that way I can get my shit together and pretty much figure out what the hell I'm gonna do with this fucking nappy ass hair or whatever because I need to do something with it I think I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get my hair done but yeah so this is pretty much it this is pretty much the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys